Hey everyone, Ravenous here. Welcome back to Night in the Woods, where last time we think we solved our issues with our cult that was killing people for the prosperity of the town. But we believe they are now trapped in the mines, and everything should be solved, so this should be the epilogue. I say should, because I don't know. So, wake up for another day. Alright, let's do our usual routine and see what happens. All right. Hi. Hi. Weather service. No one forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening up the pick opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're ha we're doing band practice though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork, lol. Band practice today. BC. I feel like we need to do something normal. Uh, I'm at I'm at the Snalcon. No. The Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely Gregory. Away message. It's good to be alive th this morning, that's all. Away message. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's germ. Maybe. Probably. Okay, so we have bed practice. That's a thing. There we go. Epilogue. I had a feeling that we this was going to be a, the epilogue day. God, it's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not going to but I'm not going to cry today. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. So we're going to check everything because this should be our last time looking. We still don't know what the deal with that tooth was, but that's okay. All right. So one more round. We're going to eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. I should, like, reread some of these. I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming. James from Beyond the Veil of Space. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937. Chase from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre. An, an influence on much of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you and at, at this moment. Cool. Cool. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk. Yep. That's a good thing to do. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, Mom. I, you're an adult. And you can do whatever you want. But you do live here, and you are still my baby. Oh, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because. Honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I had a really tough year, Mom. Hon, we had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is. Just please, tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip uh, flip the pancakes in the air. Ha ha ha, sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please, please stay in town? Close. Yeah, Mom. 
I think we're getting some some of the long longest night decorations out. Oh wow. Calling for some snow too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. Love you, sweetie. Love you too, Mom. Are you still reading the same book? Oh no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Wanna hear one? Sure. Far from here the ocean's roaring, far away across the den. I hear a lord a call on their children, bring it in, bring it in. I'll see you walking through the barley, we'll find each other, freak it, friend and kin. I hear the Lord a call on their children, bring them in, bring them in. Tarry with me for a, for a moment, talk, uh, talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven, bring them bring in, bring them in. That's nice. It is. It is nice. Ha ha ha. Ha I do that. Ha ha. I don't know why I do that, but. Oh, hey. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I mind, I make glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't. Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss's supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I want to give, give you and her your time. I want her to have her have hobbies and, and enough time to and money to do them. That's what made me happy. And now I just work so we can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house, or try to at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do what we what. Uh, I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines of the factory, at least for a while. But here. I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No, really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. May, thank you. Wow, it looks so bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. Bay. Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. Bay. Yeah. You come. Uh, you come down and pick it with uh, pick it with us if we walk out. Oh, breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kid. Be back later, Dad. The tooth. What are you down doing out here, by the way? Get an early start on our longest night plans. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even still work. Can I help you put them up? We'll see. Uh, you're still a small fry. Dad. Dumb deed, dumb dog. That I don't do. Yay, got my triple jump bag. Let's head over here. Good times. Oh, I just I just realized the the snow in the foreground. I wasn't even paying attention to it. Wonder if if we'll ever be a big boom of town again. Those guys last night were like deluded. But it, it'd be really nice. If there was a god, I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods. Yeah, that'd bleed this place nearly to death. I'm like, proud of, proud of us all for having good-ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good-ass town. 
Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. Yay! So, we're going to make sure we say hi to everybody. I like it when, when games give you this chance in the epilogue to go see everybody you've, you've talked to and spent time with during the game. Boink, boink, boink. Uh, everybody's down here, though. Walked on your car. All right. I'm not going to talk to the old man who hates me. Hey, Bay. Sup, Selbers. You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing. Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me feel... make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ha if you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Alright. Well, if I ha ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Good old Selmers. Hey, old man. Snow's co snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. There we go. Yay! We're gonna see the stars one last time. All right. Hey, May. Hey, Mr. Chowskov. Got any more dust cards we can look at? One more. All right. Yep, no complaining this time about the filter. Found it. Let us consult the guide. The fire maker. The fire maker? A wanderer in the cold and dark. Making a fire and, and huddling up to it. For light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Huh. This story makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It's okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. So what now? A uh, super moon is coming. What's that? A giant moon. Ooh, that does sound super. You must come uh, meet me when it happens. It'll be late at night. Uh, there'll be others on their roofs. Uh, you come and I'll make hot the hot cocoa. What a time. That sounds great. I want to I see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Uh, Cheskov. See you soon, Stargazer. Yay. Yeah, that's right, there's... Let's take a look real quick at all the stuff I've uh, done. Let's see. Alright. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, alright. Uh, probably something missing on that window part, but... You know, there, I don't think there's a way to get everything. But I think I did get a lot. Oh, Bruce. Oh, maybe when I go by the church, I'll find out what that, that was about. See, like, I have a missing page there and there. Probably for uh, different hangouts. All right. The germ stuff. Yep, yep. All right. A heart fast. Okay, this is when things got a little delusional. Yep. All right. So maybe I missed uh, one set of stars, maybe. Well, no, because not all the stars are gathered. Still. Yeah, that's really, really creepy. But it's, it must be the shapes she, she sees. 
be yelling at little guy. I'll still kill, keep calling it an old god because it, that's what it reminds me of. The old, like, Cthulhu legends. Alright, nothing about that. Alright. Alright, up here. Nothing. Alright. I don't think there's anything up there. Oh, I just started doing my own laundry. Sometime. Alright. Another zone complete. Sorry, Casey. All right, let's see if we can feed the rats. Hey! When winter come and, when, when winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin. It is a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. Anything? Okay. That's his last poem. My precious rat babies have left the nest. No, no need for mama to feed them anymore. They grow up so fast. But we'll stop by and take a look at the area. But that means I don't need to go get more. Hey kids. Hey you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, all right? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man. It does it goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. Alright. That is that one. Alright. You know, I, I do kind of feel sad, like, even though May will continue to be here, as far as I know, uh, you know, it's kind of sad that this is the last time we will be taking this trip through, through Possum Springs and seeing everybody one last time. It's, t it's, it's touching. All right, so... Let's see, I'm going to, I know I like to go in there first, but I want to check this desk because she said she wasn't working, so I wanted to just say, okay, done, checked it. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Let's go talk to Pastor K. See if she's in here or if she's outside. All right, and she must be outside. There was no point coming inside, but it's good to check. Still hopping on your car. All right. Oh, he'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. Yeah, that's true. He'll be like a big old snow band. So we're gonna get an answer. Answer. Yeah, probably. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just clean it up. How'd the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this empty space. Could use it for many things. But... You tried. All we can do. And God will show up. When the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. You need some help cleaning up, cl uh, clean up, cl cl yeah, cleaning the place up. That'd be nice, May. There's a rake in the, in the sh shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... 
Run along, mate. So the teenagers back here? I wouldn't think they would be with the uh, the pastor right there. Oh well. Maybe they're somewhere else in town. Maybe they're up with the saxophone guy. We'll definitely go see him. So, as, as for Bruce, I do like to think that he did go home to his family and kids. That way he's no longer running away from his problems and the, the mistakes he made. They're getting in touch with them and getting back on his feet. That'd be nice. I know, like, last time we thought about that, that it was during the, the really creepy moment. I think everything was going wrong and people were going to die. But now, things really have settled down. So we can actually consider, you know, the positives. And hey, look at that. Oh, there we go. I was wondering. I forgot it was that window. All right. Yep, let's go check in. Oh crap, there we go. Boop. There's some rats right there. Oh, what's gonna happen to all this? I guess it's just gonna sit here. Until someone gets around to throwing it all out. I should like, steal the good stuff. See what mom and dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. Redecorate the living room. what they would think. Yeah, I see all the rats outside of it now. My babies have left the nest. Alright. Yep, and they're all, like, in the foreground. Chilling. Alright. All right, let's make that jump. There we go. Up, up, up we go. Hey, you okay? Hey, I heard you were like in the hospital or something. Haha, <laughs> yeah. What for? Fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Uh, chased by a death cult of conservative uncles. Alright. Uh, you don't have to tell me. You, you want to hang out sometime? Isn't that what we're doing? I mean, like, we could watch horror movies. You can meet my sister. She's, like, almost your age. What's her name? I probably know her from school. Stevie Myers. But you don't know her. She beat up someone and had to go to a different school. Oh, cool. We might get along. Haha, <laughs> probably. She's mean sometimes, but she's cool. Sounds good. I gotta get going. It's been a weird, pa weird past couple days. Weird's good. I guess. Weird just... Weird's just what happens. See you around. Later, kid. Later, killer. Haha. <laughs> All right, and hop, hop, hop. No. All right, need more speed. This one's a tricky one because it's small. And there we go. We'll be able to climb this soon once it gets icy. Enjoy it while the weather lasts, May. All right, and hop. Whoop. Well, I didn't need to go up there, so hop, hop, hop. All right, and down. Let's double check, make sure I didn't miss anything ground level. Oh, they put, they're putting up their decorations. All right. Everybody's getting a little choppy. Well, it doesn't look so bad on your guys' end. 
Yep, she said she's not opening the pickaxe today. Hey, janitor. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean it. I clean up. Do fix it. Whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So what's it like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been been through something. How'd you know? Call it experience. I, I swear, as some borders, I feel every bit as old as these these trees. You know, something di big did happen. But I feel like I should have woken up today. And, like, have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, my experience, the big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. And sometimes, gotta wait a while and see what comes of it. Huh. Well... Done an honest day's work. Quit time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. <laughs> ha ha ha. Wait, how do you know my name? Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor thought, I can get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. I swear, he reminds me of the janitor from the Ratchet and Clank games. Who turns out he's really God. That'd be funny. He gives that off that impression. He's everywhere and knows everything. Huh. Something tells me this is bad for business. Don't they have somebody to cover for when Angus isn't there? Who is really annoying to talk to? Oh! Holy crap! A, ah, uh, a taco place. This is the best thing that's happened in the town since. We got rid of all the snakes in the diner. The owners were religious, and they called in a preacher uh, from one of those holy, holiness uh, camps up in the hills. And he got in there and yelled at the snakes to leave. The next day, he died, and they, <laughs> the next day after he died, they just set traps. Nobody knows where they came from, or why they moved in. But they're long gone now. God. Life moves on, huh? Oh my god, they delivered! I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos! That is pretty sweet. So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess I'm just holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There is snow in the sky falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There's not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news. My ex hate ta hates tacos. Good news. They're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all the general region, region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid, I'm working. Oh, I can't go up there because I can't go up there. Huh. Who are you? Have you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. It's a bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stay in here. Hey, you Smelters fan? Uh, nah. Oh well. I, I, I don't think May has any interest in sports, so. Hey, I think I get a. <clears throat> hey, I think I might be able to get up from this direction, maybe. Alright. 
Oh no, I can't make that jump, I remember now. Whoop! And up here! Yeah, I can't make this jump here. So, meaning I can't double... Double check, uh, my musician guy. That's weird. Kind of a shame. Oh well. Let's head out this way. Because I know that my ultimate destination is the Snack Falcon. But we can go over and see if uh, germs hang. Oh. I could go in here? I'm not running, by the way. It's automatic. My babies! My little rat babies! Well, not so little anymore. You've made it! You've broken free! It's a miracle! I'm just going to enjoy this moment for a bit. Don't mind me. <laughs> that was surprisingly nice. I caused an infestation. Worth it. I know some not zooming out to the tree over there. Why is it looking up? Why is she looking up? I don't know. Well, let's try... Okay. All right, to the snack falcon. Jim's probably over there. In fact, the whole crew is probably over there. One more time. Ah, uh, yeah. Creepy and sweet at the same time. Yay. Okay. All right. So let us go and talk to Greg. The click like diner. Snack Falcon. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like relevant. Well look who who's live and well to well you too. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna get out of here? Do band practice. Yeah. It's time. Jeez, that door never gets it any less stuck. Worse when it's cold somehow. I'm so ready for cold weather. Uh, I hate winter. Winter is good, actually. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to, su to succeed. <laughs> where where would we even play if, if we wanted to? Huh. I have no idea. Go play those uh, VFW hall shows in Fort uh, Lucene. Oh wow, those were fun. Uh, we'd be the oldsters now. Yep. So, uh, you okay? Yeah, I guess. I mean, as much as I can tell, I can even tell today. Yeah. Huh. Suspicious. Do you think those guys can uh, can get out of the mine? I guess we're going to find out pretty quick. Do you notice anyone missing today? I don't know. But I did think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Could never tell. Never can tell. It's kind of the thing, this kind of thing happened to you often? Oh, all the time. So like, I don't really get what, what even happened down there with you and the whatever that was. The cosmic horror? Yeah, okay, yeah, that. Oh, uh, it's old. 
something older than anything I can think of. And you can feel it inside. And it's a hole outside town? Yes. No. Like, the thing thing in, in the hole is... Jeez, I lost it. It's okay. It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it. And then the light goes out. And there's a hole where that light was. And that's like what happened to me way back. Like when I was telling you about telling you about on the couch last night. God, that was last night? Seems like two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be weird when you're gone. Well, I mean, you've already been gone. And you've been gone at least once uh, since you since you got back. You're a goner. Like last night, it feels it feels uh, it feels sometimes like there's so much horrible past still trapped in the historical society from the other night. <laughs> I just realized I know what that painting was. What was it? Never mind. But it feels like like the past can't just leave, and it's still here. You're you're like swimming in it. And you can't have the, have a future. Nah, brah. Nah, brah, that's it. What was our biggest crime ever? Bring a horrible robot son into the world? And then leaving him to haunt the woods out by the highway? Actually, it was probably trapping the dudes in the mine and leaving him to die. That was self-defense. All of that stuff... Like, today's different now because that happened. We're different. Yeah. So, like, things change. I guess. Like you said the other day in the woods. Gonna be different because we're here. That's something. Something, something, something. Oh, I also gave us a rat infestation in town. What? Eh, it's like one of the, it's like one of the good things that's, that's happened. Hope springs, rats multiply. Very poetic, dude. I'm extremely poetical. They killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. Try not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive? Or tell them he's in a bottomless hole? In a tunnel? In the woods? With a bunch of guys who are going to be dead soon? They wouldn't believe us, and they would think us. Uh, uh, honestly, they would think uh, us insulting him, the, the them for even bringing that up. Even though it's the truth, they would not believe it and think we're just making fun of them. None of this feels good. How could it, man? I think it's important that we know at least makes it mean something. I don't know how to say it. I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything. Or who even can care. Do you think any of this means anything? Or like meant anything? Huh. Does it, Gregory? Hey, babies. Hey, hon. Babies? How was work? Jeez, I'm sore from like everything. Gotta do stretches. So like, can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? Uh, um, I thought you couldn't leave home. Eh, you guys are home enough. Or maybe I, I'll just visit for a while once you get settled in. Of course. Yeah, dude, that'd be rad. Hey, guys. Yeah? Thanks for saving me last night, like, repeatedly. Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. Hey, bae. Hey, bae. Are you going to say something? I don't really know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? Uh, don't ask me. Can't we just, like, play a song and get pizza and think about this tomorrow? I had a dream that the world, is end world was ending. Song and pizza. All right. Sweet. It does, dude. What? 
Answer your question like two minutes ago. What question? What were we even talking about? Credits time. That that was good. I, I love the character the characterization of them all. Because I it's very much like I know people like this. And so the characterization of of the friends here it really hits home. So sure there was an Elder God cosmic horror involved and a death cult and some craziness. But, you know, deep down, except for the cosmic horror, a, a lot of this story was, it was very grounded in reality. I think there's a lot of people, things, uh, a lot of things in this that people can relate to. Because a lot of it was real life stuff. I am surprised I am not actually playing this song on the controller. I was literally expecting to. But, yeah, so, e there was, there's, there's a couple multiple kind of storylines that were interwoven. There was the, 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 the craziness going on. But it did also relate to the realistic parts of life and change. And dealing with the past and looking towards the future because I said a, previous, uh, a while back that you know I really do relate to, to May's issue of the coming back and expecting things to be how they were before but they're not and they never will be because things always change and even in like the realistic aspects where I'd go around town as May and see things changing all the time. That was one aspect of it. But even the cult, they dealt with it too. They were clinging on to the past, but it was constantly changing. And they couldn't the the they couldn't stop time. <laughs> All right. Rest in peace, Casey. And that, everyone, is the end of Night in the Woods. Now, I have been told there are variations to the ending, but we went through this story this way, and I am very satisfied with the ending we got. So, if you enjoyed this, give it a like. Any thoughts, comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, click on my beautiful face. And if you like to support these videos, check out my Patreon. And thank you for watching. Until next time, later.